Yo, this kid does not care about those cops at all. Please hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and while you're there, ring the little bell. One thing you see every now and then in Times Square is a pack of kids will come by on motorcycles and uh, scooters and uh, four-wheelers, quad runners, and they've been out here almost since I got out here. I keep missing them. But man, they come and it gets loud and they're driving up and down the sidewalks and the poor cops, you know, it's illegal, but the cops can't do shit. They, they try, but there's just too many of them. And you see cops trying to chase them or cops telling us, get out of the way, let them go by. Uh, I'm gonna try to film if they come back by. They'll come through Times Square and a whole bunch of them, the cops will shoo them away and then they'll go around a couple blocks and come back so if they come again I'm gonna to try to film them for you because it is pretty entertaining dangerous and crazy but you know oh to be young and be on a damn motorcycle in Times Square doing wheelies in front of cops that seems like it'd be pretty fun back in my days I rode a motorcycle for about 15 years and I ran from several cops usually because I I don't want to get into that right now. But I, I did run from cops in my day. So we'll see what happens. Other, other than that, let's uh, kick back. I'm going to do some writing. And uh, if they come back, great. If they don't, then uh, that'll be for another day.
sitting right down the middle of the street. And there's so many of them that there's not a lot the cops can do. Cops are running all over the place trying to catch these guys. And uh, I believe they caught one right here. They just, uh, yeah. I believe they got one right here. Yeah, they caught his ass. They caught his ass. Uh, they, uh, they're riding, they're riding up and down the sidewalk. You can see them over here in the street. Come on, lady, what the fuck are you doing? You can see them in the streets over here. And the police officers are trying to catch them. They caught one. It's a little jumpy. These guys do not care. They're right in the middle of the street. And uh, hanging wheelies. And every time they come through, the cops will get one or two of them, but that's it. So the police ran and tackled this guy. These guys are doing wheelies right down the middle of the street. They've been here for hours. And it's just too hard to catch them. And uh, they're, they're brazen. They don't care. They'll, they'll do it right in front of the cop's face. And uh, they got this guy. They got that guy. He was out for a ride. Now they're going to take his bike. There's his bike. They cuffed him up. There's at least 70 cops out here. But they were uh, trying to catch these guys. I was filming them several times. They were uh, they were doing wheelies and backflips, and they didn't care. And then the cops finally the cops finally caught one. Well, they've caught several, but they caught one while I caught them on film. Yeah, nothing to see here. Yeah. Just a hundred yeah, nothing to see here. Other cops tackling motorcycles. They uh, they caught his ass. So what's happening is we're in the busiest place on the planet. Certainly one of them. It's Times Square, bro. And these kids, usually from uptown, will come through, and there'll be seventy of them on motorcycles and those quad runners. And they will literally take over the streets. I enjoy it. It's illegal, but I enjoy it. None of them are to be ridden on the street. They're all dirt bikes. No lights, no registration, no license, no insurance. And what they do is they'll come through here. I've seen it many, many times. And they'll uh, literally do donuts in the street. I was just getting ready to go home and they came through one more time. I said, ah, let me film them again. And this time the cop ran over and tackled one off his motorcycle. That was crazy. I don't know how much I got of it, but it was, it was crazy. One of my very first businesses in New York was I had a hat company just like this. This guy's actually a really great artist. They'll, uh, you buy the hat, and then he'll put a name on it for you. And uh, Fortnite, I guess, is pretty popular now. And what he'll do is he'll have a bunch of blanks over there, which is the hat that he'll paint with just the, uh, the colors. And then you'll come and you'll tell him what your name is, or what you want, your logo, New York. Surprise is not out here. Adobe, the Bronx, and uh, this guy's really, really good. My company was horrible. We were the worst ever. I was hoping he'd be there so I could interview him for you, but my business, which my business partner decided to call it Hat Hop, like hip hop, but Hat Hop, went out of business really quickly. We were horrible, but we were 20 years ago. These guys were all riding off the back of what we created.